More! I require... More! This is more cat game. And boy, oh, oh boy, do we have more. This video, by the way, is late and I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's make a list right now, okay? I want to do... Boop. 10.6. Updates. Review. I want to look at it. I want to analyze it. I want to judge it. We got number two. We got the Mega Menace. 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 It's it's pronounced Met. We got the Mega Menace. And then finally a sneaky little peeky into 10.7 coming up. That's right. 10.7, which has already been out in the Korean or Japanese version. I'm gonna go through what I uh, what I feel about this and the rewards you get from this after doing the stage first, because again, 30 minute wait time. You want some kind of like anti zombies. This guy right here is a problem. Has always been a problem. I'm up to 48 right now, which isn't too impressive since the event is about to end. However, I don't have the time to keep going back and forth, back and forth to the game like that. So I, I don't think I'll ever be able to finish one of them. The, these Brellos, always a problem. No matter what stage they're in, it's a problem. And the big baddie here, of course, is the, the moth character enemy thing. But this time it has like a big orb in its butt, or it's like stomach it's a little tummy so for the stage i have not been using this setup here because look how uber scum it is and also malika racer cat is retired of course we don't use that cat because we like difficult challenges i guess i want to make a few changes here like an octopus cat ideally i want more zombie killers i, I feel like that's a big problem for me as of right now, is a lack of zombie killers. My go-to cat unit is going to be... My wife? Where is my wife? Housewife cat. I think she's very strong and independent. And she has a B, an attack up B in zombie damage to zombies increased. Which is pretty cool. We're gonna use her instead of like, I don't know, this girl right here. The problem with Mighty Gal, honestly, I'm gonna get rid of him, is his range is nowhere near good enough. What I'm thinking though, is what if we get a range that is good enough, like Unit 02, just to get rid of what I think is either called Professor B or Master A. I don't know. Sorry. I don't remember one of the enemy's names. Oops. I'm talking about this guy right here. I was previously using Maglev, which honestly is a great shout. The problem with Maglev is it would zoom into the crocodile, crocodile would bury underneath, the pigeon would then like attack it to no end, and then the crocodile would come up again and kill it in one shot. I still haven't really like sussed like what the hell to do in this situation right now. And the problem here is this Mohawk cat is going to go all the way to the end here, and attack the base and spawn everything. This is why you want to use double eraser cats and not use more hot cats. Because the eraser cats will slowly but surely get there, but be stopped by the, the zombies burrowing underneath. Help her? Help her. Help her. Okay, we lost. <laughs> Edit this from the video. Yo, hear me out. Wooshu cats. It recently got a true form, which we'll do straight away, because it's a rare cat, and therefore very easy to evolve. Yo, okay! Alright, <laughs> that's crazy. That looks cool. He has like a lightsaber, like, nunchucks. Also, he's glowing. So Wushu, then Sifu, then Shigong. What does he get? Immune to slow. Cannot be slowed down. Incre also looks incredible. It looks actually incredible. His pillars fighting instincts obliterate any enemy in his path. Even his battle aura sends foes fleeing. Fleeing in fear. Tough versus zombies. Incredible, beautiful, amazing. Yes. Now, I feel pretty comfortable, all right? This, this should go fine. Someone want to race a cat to confront the zombie. Uh, don't speed up. And we want to get to like work a cat level 2 ASAP. Alright. At this point, we just chill. Maybe send like- No! Sorry, that was a bad idea. Kill that swimmer cat, please. We do not want to hit the base. Keep forgetting, buddy. Keep forgetting. There we go. Okay. Now we summon you. And just some other like really sturdy cats that can't possibly kill anything else. Like zoom out here to really like- Oh no. Let's just do one of these. Oh, they were hiding. 
So unfortunately, these guys are going to hit the base. Um, which is, like, terrible. That's really bad for us. Uh, we're gonna die. Okay, let me just- we want to use meat shields now, like some octopus cats here to kind of like defend against umbrellos so they don't die instantly. Uh, in the meantime, we're dead. I don't know what's going on. I was doing this pretty well beforehand. I don't know what's going on. Is it just me or just like, does this cat just suck, you know? To me, Sifu Cat has always just sucked. I thought maybe like in its true form it would like become not sucky. I still feel like it has great power of suck. Okay, a maglev. It will pop in front of maglev and kill it. That's fine. It's all part of the plan. We now don't, don't kill anything, right? Fuck. Okay, we send in one of these. Nah, that's not good either. Okay, maglev is gonna trigger them to bury underneath here. Right, Maglev, please go. Right, and then I'm gonna bury underneath and then attack Maglev. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so Maglev lets you kind of like postpone the badness. Now, unfortunately, that's gonna be like, well, let's, let's do one of these. There we go. So the, the cannon will make the zombies go back to the surface and therefore stop them from hitting the base. It's worked out wonderful. I am very smart. Much smartness within me. Maglev here, that's some like, good money. Now we want to just try our best to just get as much money as possible. Make sure we are prepared for when the brellos and everything else comes out the base when we hit it. Now my cannon is level 1. You don't necessarily need anything above that. That's it, you only need level 1. All you want is the effect of it like rising up to the ground to kind of like stop your your big posse from hitting the base right right now you would use this unfortunately i did like mess up the timing of my cannon and therefore this guy got through and it's all over now we do have money though i'm gonna panic summon a bit uh gonna summon you yeah i, I panic summoned it's all good it's all good we're now gonna summon like a few things that kind of like prevents the brellas from destroying us instantly and hopefully our attacks against the brellas will be swift and painful for them but they're still alive and they're actually like killing us a lot maybe like a maglev here gives us some more money yo can i just say maglev as a unit in general is incredible like maglev is actually just an insane unit in the game i want to make a video where i personally have my personal take on it it could be wrong it probably is wrong on what i think is essential cats to progress in this game now of course much of you think your boy is dumb dumb however this video is one most likely going to be popular and two i get to flex my knowledge in you guys and how actually i'm pretty smart by the way master or professor b or a is dead i'm just so smart and now we have just big butterfly left moth whatever honestly the biggest problem there is going to be the red fairy anteater with that gone and dead very easy very simple even dumb dumb like you can do it for a smart smart person like me it's very simple oh but you're being carried by matama i mean if you were smart like me you would also have matama it's pretty simple to get matama really just be smart smart and you'll get matama if you don't have matama use this use this more that's it that's all the advice i have for you today it's pretty priceless advice i hope you guys are writing all this down because after you watch this video this video will be gone unlisted privatized you'll never see it again my knowledge is priceless it's a one-time deal to have the inner secrets of this mind all right that's enough fart smelling for now i wouldn't say the stage is simple it's actually kind of fun uh, don't get me wrong i really enjoy barren stages i complain about them a lot right but i do enjoy a good old barren stage the problem here of course would be and wait for it just need to like destroy this base here and end the stage and i can show you all right cool yeah four cat tickets would be this the 30 minute cooldown womp womp however we do now have like 29 minutes to talk about the updates that have been released and a few other things um we were actually streaming bad cats the other day i hope you guys enjoyed it way 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 back then we did like a wafer opening stream where we get actual car packs uh it was incredible uh little side note though we didn't get the dark tanyan cat card because life sucks and also unfortunately the last card that we pulled or we we opened from the wafer packs was going to be retired. That cat is Marshmallow Cat. So big R's, please. No more Marshmallow Cat. Old and retired. We also did a uh, Cats of the Cosmos stream. Finally doing chapter 2. 
and unlocking God. You know how it is. Just casually unlocking God. Let me see if I can find God in this long list of just weirdness. Is God common or is he special? I think he's a special boy, honestly. He's a special boy. So yeah, there's God. Um, lots of people are saying God isn't actually as amazing as everyone keeps saying. Which I think is blasphemy, but... You know, I didn't write the Bible. And he does have a third form, which I'm sure we'll unlock eventually. Now, we also got to do some more progress on Stories of Legends. I was having my own personal race against Matt Shea. While Matt Shea didn't know I existed, I was racing him. It was a heated match. It was a heated race to the end of Stories of Legends. He did like this super stream and got to the very end. Well done, Matt Shea. You won. Well done. Well done. So I gotta make more progress on Stories of Legends. It will be coming soon. I really wanna try and catch up with him. So yeah, prepare yourself for more Stories of Legends soon. Updates! 10.6 came to the game like a week ago. It's old news. We now have true forms. One for Gravi. Gravi now has a true form. The Elemental Pixies. Um, I'll be going into that very soon. We also have all of the... Um, Kind of limited cats, all like the weird machine drilling cats, now have true forms. Incredible and amazing. I'm gonna go through them, see which ones I could possibly and potentially get, and which ones I desperately need. And then cat talents is really awesome. Sea Maiden Ruri has cat talents, and so has Cat Machine. We'll be going through those soon as well. Uh, as far as I know, I don't have Sea Maiden Ruri. Apparently, she has been... She's Boston, as so, so the kids would say. Boston and Jeesh, so the kids would say. She's 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 great. She's doing good. But the most hype has gone towards Salon Cat. Salon Cat finally having talents. She's always been talented to me, but now she's even more powerful. Again, we'll be going through her talents soon. Unfortunately, I did have like 400 MP ready to spend. I did spend a lot of that trying to get past the Cats of the Cosmos. So unfortunately, a lot of that is now gone. I probably won't be upgrading too much for these cats and trying them out. I would love to. However, MP is, is a bit of a bitch to get. So I think like one of the biggest updates here are the multi-language supports. Now you no longer have to learn English, okay? You can just read it in your own native language. Respect. French, Italian, German, and Spanish, you can all just play the game in your mother tongue, which is really awesome. I think that's a great thing. It's gonna help the, the Battle Cats game spread around the world, make it a lot bigger, get more downloads. We get like a 70 million download special going on, more cat food for Yao. It's all good. And more inclusive. Aww. The global takeover has finally begun for the cat army in real life. And user rank rewards and cat combos. Usually I'm not too fussed about cat combos because I'm bad and I don't use them as often as I should. However, there's some pretty okay ones in there. So double check in the internet for what's on 10.6. For the Korean version, there is going to be, or there was a Godzilla cat for the Godzilla collaboration event. They probably didn't get the, the rights to do that uh, for global. So unfortunately, we probably don't get this. Maybe in the future we will, but for now we don't. Same thing with Princess Cat and Queen Fest. And I don't know what this is. I think this right here is the, um, we saw it in like one of the videos. Yeah, it's like this guy right here. If you unlock this, you get this. It looks cool. Look at that. Much coolness. Wait. This is a special cat that I can unlock at a 3% chance when beating the face of God? God damn it, man. Ponos. But yeah, Gravy gets a, an impressive HP plus, attack plus, like everything else, I think, right? And then wave level. Right now, my Gravy is like level two. It's, uh, it's very weak. It does already have wave attacks and immune to waves. It seems really cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. And now that wave attack does increase. Now it doesn't tell you what level of wave attack there is in the game. And I, I really think that's really cool. I think it should. I really think it should tell you what level the wave attack is. I think um, like you just saying like, oh, this unit has wave attack and someone summons for it without Googling it. 
and they find out, oh, this wave attack sucks ass, it's almost like false advertisement, okay? And I know we had the privilege of the internet to find out what level wave attack it is, and it's your fault for not checking up on it. But what if you don't want spoilers, okay? What if you're a part of the world where the internet isn't as accessible as you were hoping for, okay? In some places, it's quite restrictive. So I'm just saying, Maybe add a little, little cheeky little number here to let us know what level the wave attack is. Anyways, the internet says level 2. In vault form, level 3. And finally, in a true form, level 4. So, level 4 is kind of like where it gets good. That's the sweet spot for a shockwave attack. That's where you can kind of like semi-cheese stages by like having a lot of tank cats in front and it doing wave attacks and hitting the, the units in the very far back. That's when it gets pretty dope, okay? Also, I really like this unit. I'm not gonna lie. It reminds me of this like little like monkey in like, it was like a robot monkey in a diaper uh, in Mega Man Legends called Data. Perhaps a reference. I am missing Mermaid Girl. However, Mermaid Girl is pretty interesting too. For now, I will show you, uh, uh, you. I will show you you instead, instead of Mermaid Girl, but. I'm talking about Mermaid Girl. Here, I'll replace her face with Mermaid Girl's face. So Mermaid Girl's new talents are target relics, immune to curse, slow resist, and of course your defense and attack buff. This is kind of like hype for me. I, I could be wrong, but like Mermaid Girl is resistant to red enemies, right? It's also got a very good 100% weakened to red enemies? 100% weakened to red enemies, right? It having, hey, I can now target re relic enemies seems really promising. For those later stages that might be causing some problems for some people. And on top of that, usually by itself it would be useless. But it, it does have immune to curse as well, which is fantastic. It means it can actually feasibly do work in curse stages. Some people complaining that she's a 1v1 tank because she's a single hitter. And curse stages usually have groups of enemies instead of just one big enemy. But I'm sure there's definitely like a niche for her in there. And I'm sure like you won't be just using her to attack the relics. Instead, you'll be using her more of a, a tank to kind of like withstand the hits from multiple enemies regardless. In the meanwhile, behind her, well, you will hopefully have some units doing damage to the small cursed enemies, the peons. And then hopefully eventually she'll be doing her attacks against the big baddie the, at the back. Cat Machine also gets some fancy stuff. Unfortunately again, only form 2 right now. Cat Machine gets a freeze, immune to knockback. Immune to knockback, by the way, seems incredible. I think knockback is based on like how much damage they've taken or some enemies can literally just knock back other uh, enemies or other units. But for a tank, immune to knockback seems plausibly like the best thing ever. I think that's really good. I could be wrong. You guys let me know. He also has a speed up alongside of his attack and defense buff, which is interesting too. You know, you want the tank to be at the front at all times. Him being faster will allow you to like protect your other cat units faster. It means you don't have to time as much. It means RNG isn't going to be much of a bitch as well. I'm going to very quickly go through the rest. I'm, I'm taking too long. Essentially, the these new cats as well have new true forms. They're pretty awesome. They do require this though, the epic cat fruit seed, which by the way, you can get in the Baron stages out right now, the, the menace one. So it's not exactly impossible to get. However, you also need some red cat fruit seeds. The seeds for some people are actually harder to get than the fruit. For me personally, I usually just get the seeds. I have a uh, surplus of fruit, which I don't need though. The true form evolution gains increased attack power and immunity to wave attacks. Just seems dope. A lot of these things do just seem dope to me. I have I have been using the odd one now and then. True form evolution gains increased attack power. But usually this epic cat fruit seed is quite late game, which I apparently am still not in, so I'll just, you know. But this Baron stage does give you the option to get this cat fruit seed if you get further enough. Drilly Cat seems the most promising, just because it has or gets strong versus white enemies at the true form. Uh, white enemies doesn't have too much to be counted with in terms of like our cat units. I feel like we are severely lacking a lot of anti-white uh, units. Usually if you want an anti-white unit, you want to go for the epic fest to find, you know, Dark Matamor or Gao, Shadow Gao, what have you. You know, right now it weakens traitless, which I think weaken is an extremely powerful ability. I think some people definitely underestimate weaken. Some people maybe overestimate weaken. I, I think the weakened ability is really good. I should definitely use it more often. I don't use it enough. And finally, 
Cyborg Cat becomes even more talented with a survive ability. If you think it's about a die, well, mm -mm -mm, it's about a survive with a survive ability. Very much incredible. Yes. Immune to toxic. I mean, so far in the game, I've only ever encountered one toxic enemy, and that was the, the big Daboo sister thing. I call her... Holy sexy Daboo. She dead now. I want to use my gloves or Russian units for... Oh my god. Oh, yes! There's gonna be some more toxic enemies in the future. If they keep giving toxic immunity to units, I'm guessing there's going to be more toxic enemies in the future. They might even make like a new archetype of enemies called uh, global warming type. And the global warming type will be filled with toxic and stuff. So you never know. That might be a thing. I don't know. I legit don't know. Maybe don't get this, but at the same time, just think about it. Maybe in the future, this would be very good. But yeah, survive is great. Um, just resist freeze. It's, yeah, I could see it being useful. This could be more, you know, up the alley of like, yes, let's upgrade this. And also like a talent orb, if you want to make her more of a niche against something in particular, you could do that too. Okay, I'm scared of this video being uh, a bunch of like rambling. How long do I have left? Eight minutes! Okay, I'm going to briefly show you a sneak peek into 1.7. If you don't want to see 1.7 sneak peeks because you want it all to be a complete surprise, I understand. I would say, look away! This is going to be the, the 10.7 spoilers. So this was released like uh, a week and a bit ago. We might be getting this in like, let's say, 20 days time, which is hype. So apparently like a brand new unit will be coming to Gals of Summer. Uh, Gals of Summer being the exclusive summer gacha thing, right? Wait, what is the Ga Gals of Summer is? Yes, yes it is. A new Gals of Summer unit is going to be this, this thing here, this thing. But again, like these kind of units are usually not very good and I would probably say don't go for it. So in Japan, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay in Japan because this doesn't really apply to us too well, is gonna be an event gacha. Instead of using cat food or like tickets, you instead use like these nets that you get. And the nets will help you get the limited time uh, exclusive units that you might have missed in the past. Uh, I don't know why a lizard and dragon cat is there. Now does this mean we're gonna get this event and these units will come to our game? Probably not, no. Uh, this is probably gonna be more just for the other releases just because they have more units to actually be available in this section here. It's not like a certain no, but usually stuff like this doesn't end up coming towards us, so. Now, we also get some added talents for five cat units. Some of these cat units aren't actually in our game yet. Am I right in saying this? This princess unit, there's one here, there's one here, and one here. All these units have true forms and also are getting talents. These units are part of a collaboration event, which means, plausibly, Future collaboration cats and units will be getting talents. Therefore, your favorite cats that you thought maybe would not be as strong anymore because all the other cats are getting talents and therefore becoming stronger, well, don't worry. Your collaboration cat units will also become stronger as well, eventually, which is very dope. However, a lot of collaboration units and Ubers don't actually have true forms, so a lot of them might miss out on this. However, it also might mean they'll create true forms for collaboration event units in the future. Unfortunately, the global version for us, the English version, doesn't really get too many collabs in comparison, and we'll probably miss out on a lot of these really cool units coming out. On the upside, Erventer and Lufalan Passlan will be getting their own talents. Uh, I think Lufalan Passlan is, am I right in saying that this one does the crits? It's the Metal Buster thing, yeah? Right, lots of people keep saying for me to get this one because it can do crits and stuff. Uh, which makes sense because I'm always whinging and complaining about metal enemies. So initially at true form, it has 20% chance to do crit, which is actually, it's nice. Your boy's a big fan of One Piece. So having a true form that also increases like its, its stuff is really cool. So the crit chance actually goes up to 10% now. So a total of 30% per hit. That's a 50% increase, which is incredible. Also weaken immune if you want, and then surge resist as well. That's, I guess, cool if you ever want that. You Honestly, the, the crit here is the best thing ever. And Erventer, your little fart cloud now is even 
smellier. This stinky boy doesn't have its talents anywhere, apparently. It gets dodge, weaken. Weaken does sound actually really good. Dodge ability is actually fantastic. It makes sense as well. It's a fart cloud. It's kind of like hard to hit. Curse resist, which is... Yeah. I don't know how good that is. It doesn't seem too good. It's like an anti-alien unit, right? You get the Baron Seal Strikes. Apparently it's one new unfinished Baron Seal Strikes. So you get the Baron Seal Strikes stage again. More Gauntlet Stages, which I'm, I'm pretty sure is like the Baron Seal Strikes, right? They call them Gauntlet Stages. So we're getting a lot more of those. It does seem like uh, Cat Game is pushing more Gauntlet Stages and will not stop pushing the Gauntlet Stages. And that does really suck. Ass. Zalo, the brawler that is zombies, finally has floating trait, which it should do because it's flying. It's gonna add a scratch card system. That seems dope. Traco Fortuna, replaced. I don't know what that is. Talent orbs, you may have heard of them. So previously we have attack up and defense up. Well, actually, in the update 1.7, or oh, sorry, 10.7, goddammit, we'll be getting the massive damage strong and resist, which is pretty dope. That's incredible. Unfortunately though, like for some units that actually have massive damage strong and resist on their units, you might have already given them an orb of attack boost or defense up, right? Be wary about how you use your talent orbs. And if you are using your talent orbs right now, do not put them on the massive damage strong or resist characters because you will eventually get these talent orbs instead. And you'll probably want to replace your old ones with the new ones. Make sure you use the old ones somewhere else where they might be more useful. An example of this is this guy gets like, hold up. Yeah, he has massive damage, right? I gave him, why the fuck did I give him a defense up black? He has this, I guess, which is weird. Anyways, I might regret that because you want to give him the massive damage instead. So he goes in there and his massive damage is increased even further with the new town orbs coming out in 10.7. That's gonna be dope. Anyways, that's a very like brief looking through 10.7. Uh, also on the news of like completing the Cats of the Cosmos, you actually get all these as well. I think all this came with the, the update. You have new missions now. So I like, get all the, the treasures from Empire Chapter 2 and blah, 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 blah. This is to help encourage people to get the treasures. For people like me who hate getting the treasures, we kind of need a bit more incentive. Some people just like, they, they can't be asked to grind. This is a bit more like, hey, if you get all the treasures now, we also give you experience points to make it even more worth it. Now, don't get me wrong, getting the treasures are completely worth it. They are extremely worth it already. However, some bonus stuff here, and I literally get like three million 30 million experience points. Wait, that's not right. I get a lot from this. It's like 10 million. It's 10 million? A lot of experience points from this. More stuff like that, please, Ponos. It's really nice. Grinding for stuff in this game is a chore. You giving us stuff to help uh, mitigate that is great. Now, back to Mega Menace, because I would love to do more of this. Please, game. I know some people don't like an update video. They find it boring and stupid. So I just split it up with like these kind of videos as well, where I do the stage, especially the Baron stages where I have to like wait regardless. They kind of work out well for me. Okay, so he's dead. So we'll probably kill this pigeon at some point very soon. I'm gonna do this so they all pop up and I kind of like stop my, uh, my units from going too far forwards. Unfortunately, it hasn't quite worked here and we are screwed. So prepare for incoming enemies. Um, this is bad. This is actually really bad. Uh, use you. A maglev will kill one of these guys in one shot, giving us loads of money. So now we can like summon more things here. All right, it's all it's all good. It's like not like the best start ever, honestly. You do want to like use the first half to get as much money as possible, which is something we have not done at all. Um, I want to summon more maglevs to hopefully get some units here, get some more money. I do need some money for my boy here to kill this guy right here. Again, just don't know the name. Red Furry Ant Eater will do. Keep some of some meat shields here to keep them protected. I almost need you soon. He's coming closer and closer. All right, I can summon you now. I can summon a maglev to hopefully get a kill here. Nope, no kill, it's okay. And he will hopefully do some work to this guy and kill him before it becomes too much of a problem. That's the major concern here, is he becomes a problem if you leave him on the field for too long. He's actually in his weakened state already. Don't die, please. He's gonna die. He's dead. Okay, so unfortunately, he didn't actually kill this guy. 
but he's probably like really weakened, so I'm not too like upset here. Can we stop? What's going on, please? The zombies keep digging underneath the ground and killing me. Oh my god, they dug underneath to get cyberpunk. You're so clever, zombie pig. Okay, he's finally dead. That's that's incredible. That's huge. We should be okay now. We, we may want to push them back a bit. Um, the time you can't die. The thing is, you are carrying us. And I, I need you to keep on carrying. But Cameron and Cat and Octopus Cat serve as some big chunky boys for the, the moth to kind of like soak up and eat. Wushu Cat, honestly, I was giving a, a, a shot there. Maybe it's okay. There we go. Very dead. Much victory. Two Matanas. You know, if you don't script the start, you can just keep on getting more money and the stage won't really be a problem if you have some big chunky boys in your roster. By the way, I can do this. I can just do this. I, I never show this often in uh, in video before and I do keep forgetting it exists. Uh, people keep telling me about it, but like, yeah, I can like just hold onto one unit and it tells me its stats. It can even tell me its name, Shigong Cat. Look at that. For the people who keep forgetting the names, no more! I can just do this. Of course, can I pause and do this? No. <laughs> you have to be playing the game and like struggling to get this to happen, but that's kind of scary though to do that while you're playing the game. You might want to summon things at a rapid rate. I'm gonna show you the level 41 to 60 rewards. They're kind of like the best rewards possible. You can do the, the other stages, I guess, you know, every single time you do this stage, but this is where the good stuff comes. So you get the cat fruit, five of each cat fruit, some really good building materials as well. Honestly, the building materials are kind of like the worst rewards in this set. But for me personally, like I need 15 meteorites. That's gonna be huge for me personally, because I hate grinding for them. This is gonna be a great way of getting them. Don't get me wrong, the rewards in Baron stages and Gauntlet stages are really good. I just detest the waiting time because I, I'm never able to finish it just because I don't go back in time to play this game. That's the only reason why I'm like not all for it. You're, you're just stopping me from playing your game and limiting me because I have a life and that sucks. But yeah, if we finally get to like 58, which is kind of like my plan, I will get the epic cat fruit seed and I can hopefully level up one of those machine uh, units to its true form. So I can't wait to do that. That is the plan. Anyways, guys, that's a video. Uh, we'll be having some more stories of legends coming up soon. Thank you so much for the support, guys. I do appreciate it. Um, videos on my channel have been a little bit slow recently. I was having some editing problems and I kind of got like frustrated editing. So I did some streams for a while and those went great. I, I actually really enjoyed doing streams. Um, it is though very apparent that you guys exclusively want one thing and one thing only and it's disgusting The thing is cat game. You just want cat game. Oh well Nvidia, Nvidia, the battle gas. We don't have much in terms of tickets. That's okay. That's fine. You, 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 you.